Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to integrate Azure Automation with AKS Cluster and then, and then schedule the start and stop of AKS Cluster using Runbox. So let's start. If you have AKS Cluster running in the NodePod environment where they are not required to run 24 cos 7, in those cases, you can stop the cluster and that will save around 50% of the cost. Let's check this on AKS Demo Cluster which we are using for this AKS series. So this is the AKS demo cluster. Right now it's running. And if you want to use a portal, it's quite easy. Just click stop and, and cluster will be stopped. All the nodes will be shut down. But if you want to perform this activity on the multiple clusters running in your environment based on different projects or different types of environment like test environment, non-prod. So in those cases, it's highly recommended to use the automation script for these. And best way to run any automation script in Azure is the Azure Automation account. If we'll talk about the well-architected framework, when a task is repetitive, then instead of doing it manually, it is recommended to be done through the scripts. Let's create a new automation account. Then we'll integrate the automation account with AKS Demo Cluster and finally schedule the start and stop. Let's go to automation accounts. Create a new automation account. Automation RG is the resource group name and demo automation and Australia is the region where I'm located and by default it assigns the system manage identity. Let's use this public access and review and create. Now automation account is created. Let's go to the automation account. So right now this automation account doesn't have any permissions or access. So there are two options to provide access. One is a run as account. Either you can create a run as account, which will create the service principle in the Azure tenant, which is not a recommended way now. And the another one is managed identity, which is created by default while creating the Azure automation account. But if you'll go to the permissions right now, there are no permissions assigned. And if you want to know more about the difference between run as account and the managed identity in the automation account, then I have created a video whose link you can find in the description of this video. So let's assign the permissions. Add a role assignment, the scope resource group. And we don't want to assign the permissions to the whole subscription. So we'll choose the resource group of the AKS demo cluster. And for the role, you can drill down to a custom role. But in this case, I'll just choose the contributor and save. Role assignment will be done shortly. Role assignments always take a little bit of time to show here. So time being, we can create the run book and later we can check if the role assignment is done. Now let's create a run book. Create a new run book. The name of the run book is AKS stop start PowerShell it is runtime is 5.1. I'll use this one and create. Now we have to add the script into this run book. Let me copy paste. So this is a very small basic script which I have created and you can see the parameters. It's asking for the AKS resource group, then AKS cluster name and the subscription ID where we are running this on and the action, whether it should start or stop. And then it's connecting through manage identity and it's setting the context for that subscription. And if the action is start, it'll first fetch the details and then start the cluster. If it's stop, it'll fetch the details and stop the cluster. Very basic script. So let's save it. And before publishing or testing, let's check if the permissions are added. We'll go to the role assignments. As you can see, the contributor level role is assigned now. So let's go back to the run book. So before publishing, let's test this run book.
so test pane and we have to provide the name of the resource group so the name of the resource group is aks demo cluster resource group cluster name which is aks demo cluster subscriptions visual studio subscription which i have i'll copy the id and provide it here and the action is start and stop let's check the status of the cluster it's running right now so let's stop it and start so now this runbook using the manage identity permissions will stop the aks cluster this will take some time so i'll pause the video and will resume once it's done it took few minutes and now you can see the status is running let's refresh the job streams so first it runs the get az aks cluster so it provides all the details of the cluster there are two different node pools node pool and system pool and this is the version of the kubernetes and let's check the status of the cluster and as you can see it's stopping right now so once it's completely stopped this will be succeeded let's wait for some more time and as you can see the test run has completed and if we'll go to the cluster you can see it succeeded and it stopped now so that means our script is running permissions are all good so using the automation runbook we can now stop and start the cluster so let's publish this runbook publish yes and it's saved now if we'll go to the run books you can see aks stop start this was the test run or we can do the individual run using this but we have to link this to a schedule let's create a schedule so if you have plans to run the non prod aks cluster during the business hours only so we have to create a schedule which will stop the cluster by 6 pm and start the cluster by 8 am every day so let's add a schedule stop cluster if it's 06 pm from tomorrow and it's recurring every one day and now schedule is created and let's go to the run book and link a schedule link to schedule stop cluster and provide the parameters so first the resource group name cluster name subscription id and the action is stop and okay now if we'll go to the schedules you can see the next run is tomorrow 6:40 i didn't change it it's 6:40 tomorrow or we can change it right away so as you can see now the next run is 6 pm tomorrow and the linked run book is aks stop start so if we'll go to the run book you can see the same schedule there which is stop cluster which will run tomorrow 6 pm so by this way automatically your cluster will be shut down now if we'll go to the run books so basically this is a very basic run book which will stop and start the cluster you can do some modifications instead of providing the single aks cluster you can provide the comma separated value run a for loop here and automatically all the clusters based on the schedule will be shut down at that time and you can set up a start schedule also so that they can start at 8 am every day so there is another option if in your test environment there are multiple node pools based on the project and you don't want to stop the whole cluster in that case for specific node pools you can scale down to zero 
and that can also be done using the Azure automation. You have to just add the AZ node pool scale CLI command and it will scale to zero when required and it can scale it back once it's done. So to summarize this video, we have first created the Azure automation account. We use the managed identity and provided permissions to the Azure automation account for AKS cluster. Once the role was assigned, then we created a runbook and published it. And after creating the runbook, we created a schedule and linked the schedule to that particular runbook. And now based on the schedule and the action defined in the runbook, AKS cluster can be stop and start. So that is all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.